then these combinations. Think about you know future product you know design stats about you know next generation OS. So this is my portfolio allocation set as of now. The total return since March 2019 is 1,420%. Okay. Then last week, no action here. Okay. Then here is all my crypto assets currently investment in. Here is total investment return for each crypto assets. Then if you want a deeper understanding about my, then if you want a deeper understanding about my more detailed portfolio allocations and also including my real time buying and selling action and every single crypto assets, including ICO, IDO, and DeFi. Please think about to join my premium membership program, real time buy and sell signal. And the main purpose of this membership program help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. Okay? Then for more detail, please check out my other video. And here's my video link. Okay? Then next time for the SRAM. The SRAM. So, key news updates. Bridge the gap. Cross chain asset comes to Radium. Radium is also Dex player Swanner. Looks like I built a partnership with Ethereum to support the cross-chain bleach solution here, which is great, okay? Once we got to look at the technical analysis, SLM, USDT, daily chart here, almost no reaction with this news yet. Still, they are keeping this support line here, you know, on top of the EMA 200s. But considering the you know, Bitcoin bridge market, I think still the bridge breakout on this chart here, that's what I'm thinking about, okay? The next one, DeFi yield market. So, yield market TV updates. Convex Finance plus 7.55%, Young Finance 2.98%, and Sunny minus 18.13%, and Alpaca Finance minus 5.46%, and Budget Now plus 4.5%. Budget Now still keeping higher than 1 billion level here, which is great. Then this one, weekly staking markets. Rito Finance plus 0.2%, almost no change. Marinade minus 1.36%, and Stake How plus 0.3% and Anchor plus 0.77%. Still, Little Finance is a leading player here. Okay? The next one, DeFi Insurance Market. So, Insurance Market TV updates, Armor plus 0.34% and NSS Mutual plus 0.25% and Anshuas minus 0.53% and Insurance plus 1.24%. Still, Armor and NSS Mutual is a leading player here. It's great combinations. Then this one, decentralized CDN market. So P2P CDN node open updates. Hero network plus 8.7%. It's great. Serial edge node plus 0.3%. Guardian nodes, the Guardian nodes and enterprise nodes, almost no change here. Okay? The Ethereum minus 2%. Tearcoin plus 2%. The Blade, then Filecoin, no change. Okay? The next one, KP3 O. So finally, the great news come to this market right now. The keep network plus up to 40%, I mean upcoming threshold margin. Looks like this post finally became the trigger KP3 on the bridge breakout. You know, integration with the new cipher, which is great news for them. But once we can pay attention to their fundamental stats, actually it's pretty clear that their project is quite undervalued. Because this is stats in September 2021 and in November 2021. As you can see here, on the September moments, they already achieved over 1k keeper, crowd source worker. They are on a walk down on this you know, decentralized crowd sourcing platform on DeFi space, hitting higher than 35k. Almost same level here. This is a clear example for us that how we're going to invest in the early stage of this undervalued project. Okay? Then, you know, finally, that news, we're going to experience this bridge breakout here. The next one, Brave Browser, BAT. Key news updates. Brave partner with Swanner to integrate it into the browser and make it to the default for the DAP support. I'm very, very curious about this news. It's a great news, but also I see much more higher potential on a Brave Browser project partnering with Swanner. Why? Because, again, core member of the Brave Browser come from Firefox, as we know. Then Firefox used to run Firefox OS to compete with Android and Google. Finally, they got shut it down in 2016. So they lost this game. 
But I think quad member of the brand browser so seriously think about following up you know, this project too. Because once we can look at the value card positioning, all the time brand benchmark on product strategy following up to Google. Default search engine of the brand browser, now it's brave search, not the Google anymore. How they are so serious to compete with Google. Then then these combinations. Think about you know future product you know design stats about you know next generation OS. I all the time thinking about combination of the OS software and also decentralized cloud. So finally Brave, you know, partner with Solana. Then why not Ethereum? It's kind of you know reasonable choice for me because you know since Ethereum dev community is fully you know decentralized one. So from the Brave perspective. It's actually pretty tough work for them to build a consensus with the Ethereum community. But Thrunner, since it's still led by a core member, founder member of this project, so much easier to build the agreement, build the consensus inside. So, so this partnership is finally bought. Then this partnership, of course, will compete with Android and Google Cloud. That's what I'm thinking about. Then once we're gonna realize this partnership with the actual one, I think BAT plans will go to the moon. That's what I'm thinking about. Then, technical analysis, BAT, USDT, daily chart. Still, the EMA 10 is a support line here. So, market trend is quite strong. It's actually stronger than Thriner because Thriner is currently testing middle class line with the Bollinger Band here. Then, BAT, EMA 10 is a support line here. So, BAT plus trend is stronger than Thriner right now. It's good. The next one, DBT, D pricing. So, key news updates. Yield Guild Games acquires exclusive in game asset in the DeFi's metaverse. Great. The here's quotation from the article. YDZ had made a purchase of asset worth 91k USD in DeFi games that include exclusive weapons, equipment, and dragon racing team at the metaverse pass ID and 40 monster called Jesus, which will also be which also be specially customized to represent YZD. Great. The exclusive weapons and equipment acquired by YZD have better stats compared to normal game items, giving YZD scholar at the competitive edge. That's a key point. Giving a YZD scholar at the competitive edge. Because D Horizon also a pretty high potential game to play to our world. And in addition to this, YZD has engaged in the total swap worth 60k of YZD DDT token pairs. Amazing. Then here's additional news. So, D Horizon also started to DBT token airdrop. Since their token has not listed in any exchange as of now, so it's a great chance for you to get the you know, DBT tokens. You know, the, if you're interested in this airdrop event, please access to the Discord here. Okay? Then from here, B2C, B2B, DAPS market. First is the NFT collectible ranking stuff. Seven days volume here. Axie Infinity, always number one here. And last week, Farmer's World in a wax, like the top three here. This is great. The next key is updates. Metaverse Academy could value up to $30 trillion you know, within the next decade. This number here is bigger than US GDP size. So interesting. But you know, also we can see that the, how the metaverse has a huge potential. And of course, next, you know, biggest market momentum on crypto space must be. Metaverse, okay? The next one, Steve Aoki told my friend to launch NFT Marketplace. It's good. This is a pretty clear signal for us that how the NFT has a huge market momentum right now from their action here, okay? From here, that's flanking, first category, gain. This week, Speed on one, still number one, and Axie Infinity, like in top three. The next one, DeFi. Katana, running its decks here, like in top number two, it's good. The next one, exchange. Trader Joe by Avalanche, ranking number two. It's good. The next category, collectibles. Enemy Top Shots, still number one. The next one, marketplace. Another marketplace, Magic Adam on Slanner. This week, they're gonna rank in top three here. I guess because of the market campaign. The next one, others. Atomic Assets by Wax, still number one. Okay? Alright, so this is the last slide. Hodo is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook. Then once we can look at the legendary angel investor attractions such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Real Roman, 
all the time, they can take the simple investment approach. It's a long term investment. Then here's another event for the Binance Research. This is a Bitcoin case, but the longest holdout of Bitcoin must by the investment return is plus 220%. Much larger number than other short term holder here. I'm gonna also basically take the long term investment approach. So I'm gonna also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay? Alright, so that's all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of sustainable investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of videos in crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.